Good afternoon, students from New Jersey, parents, counselors. It seems that our presenter is from Cairn University is a little bit late. Uh, we can stick around for a while and see uh, if they show up. Um, please note that you can always go to njacac.org slash virtual fair and look at recordings that are there from all kinds of universities and colleges and as well as signing up for more sessions for today and tomorrow. In about a week, all of the recordings from our weekly exploration will be up. If at this point you find that you cannot wait, um, you can always go to njacac.org and look at some of the recordings that are already there or choose another session for today. If you have a, uh, a question or two that you would like to have answered by the representative from Cairn University, you can type it into the Q&A button at this point. They cannot see you or there's no camera or microphone working. Ah, here they come. Stephanie from Cairn University. You're muted at this point, Stephanie. Hey, sorry, it's actually, oh. <laughs> sorry, it's actually gonna be Manny. I'm covering for her. Um, she wasn't feeling so well today, so. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, to... So at this point, I've already opened it up uh, time-wise to the students. Um, I'm not sure how many are here, but, um, I'm going to, do you see your the screen share button? I do, yep. Okay, yep. so I'm going to stop sharing and give it to you so you can continue with your presentation, okay? Cool, yeah, let me yeah. find my presentation real quick here. Do, do, do. Give me one second. See if I can pull it up. All right. What just happened? There we go. Sorry, let me share my screen. Um, I accept I can't. I have to log into. Uh, whoops, I didn't do that. Are you able to see my screen or, or no? Right. Are you able to see my screen? Oh, I can't, I can't hear you. Uh, let's see. There we go. I see you now. <laughs> okay. I see uh, you webcam anyway. 
All right. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen from this. Thing, At the bottom, if you hover over the bottom, it should pop up a green arrow that says share screen on it. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this works. If not, I'll have to join from my computer. Your screen is sharing. Right. Are, are you able to see it now? Yeah, yeah. It it's says a phone, it's a phone share. Yeah, so it says welcome. Can yes. University. Okay. Cool. I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> it's um, all yours. <laughs> all right, cool. So I'm just going to talk through um, uh, the Karen mission, mission statement because um, you know that's very very important as far as uh, who Karen is and 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 what Karen is and, and what we re represent. Um, so Karen University exists to educate students to serve Christ in the church, society, and the world as biblically minded, well educated, professionally competent men and women of character. What I like to tell people is that Karen have uh, I would like to say a good balance of uh, educating, making sure students graduate with a, a Bible background, a, a good standing biblically, and then also um, uh, professionally competent uh, and well uh, prepared in your, in your area, uh, in your field. Um, and so uh, Karen prepares students spiritually as well as uh, competency in the, in the work uh, environment, uh, which I think is a good, good balance. Um, I know a lot of different Christian schools that don't have this uh, balance, and uh, I think Karen does a really good job uh, in doing this. So um, Karen has been uh, around for over 100 years, um, and, uh, and, and the university has purposely stayed small um, by design, actually. Um, so the goal uh, is to stay over under a thousand students. So it's not like we're losing um, losing any ground or we're losing enrollment or we're losing money. Uh, the university is small and purpose. Um, the student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. Um, so, uh, so, you know, 11 students to one professor and then on, on average the class size is about 15 to 16 students. So uh, it's a fairly small uh, small school, not too small. Um, you know, uh, that's how we like to sell it. Is we're not too small where you feel like uh, there's just nothing happening on campus, but uh, we're we're big enough where to where you feel uh, you get some um, uh, uh, start uh, campus life and and some excitement, some some noise being made on campus, the sports life, sports uh, on campus. So um, I think it's a very special school. I grew up about 25 minutes away from Karen in Philly, and I had no idea Karen existed. Um, and so, uh, and then I went to school all the way down south <laughs> to another Christian school. So, um, Karen is a very, I like to say, uh, a gold in the rough. So, a diamond in the rough. There we go. Um, it's very, it's a hidden gem. And if you if you come across this school, I think it would be a huge blessing to you. Um, probably the biggest thing that we're really personally pushing right now at Karen University is uh, uh, is the application. So. Um, we want to, I, I always encourage students, I want to encourage students with Karen before I get into some more details about the school, um, is you can start an application now. Um, and uh, especially the FAFSA just became available uh, and you can start sending that to schools. Uh, and you want to start filling an application. So, um, and uh, so we accept the online app and we're registered with Common App as well. Um, the fee waiver code for uh, the, because we do have an application fee, the fee waiver code uh, is apply 21. That's apply 21, no caps. Um, and if you enter that, uh, you get the fee waiver for our online application as well as the common app as well. So uh, use that uh, while you can. So um, we'll need your high school transcript. So the high school transcript is really anywhere you're at right now in high school. Um, we'll accept your transcript. You can send that directly to me, uh, Manny, uh, or you can send it to Stephanie Wentz. So that'll be S W E N T Z. S Wentz at Karen at edu, um, and she would uh, she would then process your, your transcript. So you can send it directly to her email actually, um, or you can send it straight to the school. It's all up to you. But uh, we accept PDFs right now, so you can send if your school is able to send a PDF. Uh, we'd we'll rather have a final transcript as a hard copy, but as a PDF would do right right now. We're all waiving the SATs, ACT currently, um, so. Uh, that's something you're not required to send in, but I'll say send it in if you uh, do really well on it um, and uh, you feel like, hey, you know, I need to send this in because I, I need 
you know, we, we will still reward you for it. So we're not requiring the SAT, ACTs, or the CLT right now, but um, feel free to send it uh, to us uh, if, you, you know, if you do really, really well on it. Um, so let's, I'm going to talk a little bit about the financial aid uh, with Karen. Um, and then we're, we're going to talk more about the school later. I just want to knock some of these things out of the way. Um, the tuition to come to Karen uh, included uh, with the, the room and board uh, comes out to be about 40000 um, to attend Karen University. Now, if you're a commuter and you live close by um, without room and board, you'd be looking at 29500 as, uh, as, you know, you, as you can see there. Um, so uh, we're, we're competitively priced. Um, so we're, uh, we sit, sit right where uh, most schools around us would be uh, priced. And uh, we, let, we, we like where we, we're at. And uh, I think you'll get the best money for your, uh, the best, uh, sorry, investment for your buck here because uh, we have what's called a dual level program. So you can actually get your master's or undergrad um, in as low as five years. And you'll be able to keep all your uh, scholarships. So you'll be able to keep uh, your FAFSA and all your, your your merit scholarship, as you can see on the right there, uh, you'll be able to keep uh, all that money. So the merit scholarship, speaking to that, would be the biggest scholarship they will offer here at CARIM. So that's up to seventeen thousand. Um, you know that goes as low as five thousand five hundred. It might be a little bit more this year because of COVID, but um, so about up to seventeen thousand. So that's based off your GPA and the SAT. Okay. So again, this year we're waiving the SAT. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, uh, the, the highest we can do if we're waiving the SAT is 12,000, okay? So we'll be treating you as a transfer um, or a gap year student. Um, so I also, that's why I encourage, um, if you have a really good GPA and you do really well on the SATs, make sure you send in your SATs anyways uh, to take advantage of a higher uh, merit scholarship there that you see. But uh, the, the, the highest you're gonna go, um, if, you're, if you're planning on not taking the SATs or not, don't send that in, uh, would be 12k. It possibly could that could be more come uh, later this fall, but I'll be make I'll be sure to communicate that. Um, we do have some additional scholarships that are listed there. The Christian Worker Scholarship is, is, is a good one. Church Matching Scholarship. We also have the Honors uh, Honors Program Scholarship that's not listed there, uh, but that's uh, students who do, does exceptionally well in school. So you have uh, over 3.5 GPA. Uh, and I think that another requirement for that is that you have a 1270 uh, SAT score. So, um, so yeah, so that's a great program. It comes with a $2,000 annual scholarship that's tied with that. Um, I can give you more information. Your, well, your admissions counselor can give you more information about that some, uh, later. Um, there, so there's a ton of student groups on campus. Um, there's just a few listed there. Um, those are a few. Uh, those ones are tied with some of our our. Uh, bigger majors or our top majors on at Karen University. Um, and so it's, it's a little community here, as you can see in the picture, as they're all at the, pres at the president's house in that picture. Uh, so it's a little family here. Uh, obviously students aren't gathering like that anymore uh, because of coronavirus, but um, it's, um, it's it, you will be known by name here at, at Karen. Uh, it was very hard to slip through the cracks. I know a lot of schools will be telling you that, uh, but it's true to these university. Unlike other universities, this is Karen's mission. Uh, Karen's built this way. Um, you know, uh, they're all about the culture and environment here. Also, Karen is in just the, the, the perfect location. Um, so Karen's actually strategic, strategically placed uh, in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, uh, very close and accessible to um, some of the regional rails and SEPTA of all the transportation. Um, so we're in a quiet area, quiet neighborhood in the suburb of Langhorne, but also you have, you can have access to the, 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 the noise, <laughs> I like to say. So there's a few malls located close to the university, uh, Oxford Valley Mall and the Chamonix Mall is pretty close. There's a few Chick-fil-A, students get discounts to the Chick-fil-A's that are close by. Um, and uh, speaking of SEPTA again, uh, it's about an eight minute walk to SEPTA uh, Regional Rail off campus and less than that for the bus. So um, yeah, it's, it's one of those uh, rare times where you have buses and Regional Rail run super close to your to the university campus. So I found that to be very unique Every every year, uh, except for this year, uh, the freshman class do take a trip trip down to Center City to just hang out and have a good time. So, as you see in, in the picture, in the picture there. Um, so, let's speak to student resources and things that you can have access uh, to. Karen wants to become a student. Um, 
that would be the academic resource center um, and then a career center. So the academic Res resource center, uh, we also refer to as the ARC at Cameron University. Uh, it really exists to help with tutoring, help with uh, difficulty in classes. Also it actually provides services to students with learning disability or any other disability. Um, so it's a really good group, uh, great resource. Uh, the ARC academic resource center also um, expanded this year. Uh, we uh, renovated our library. I'll talk a little bit later um, uh, this, uh, for this fall. And so they have a bigger space now up there to better serve students. Uh, the Career Center uh, really helps with resume building, uh, job uh, search, and, uh, and, and, and cover letter. Uh, all those things are required to help you uh, be professionally competent and to help you get, to get your job. So um, it's a great place. Um, and uh, they really do a good job, good job there. Uh, these are top, our, some of our top majors. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, the professors know you by name, 11 to one uh, student faculty ratio. Uh, so, so these are some of our top majors and, and these are highlighted here because the job placement for almost all of this is above 95% within a year of graduating from Cairn University. Um, this is our biggest, biggest room at Cairn University. Uh, this is where we hold a lot of our Bible classes, a lot of the classes that you would be taking, if you become a student here, you'd be taking with other students. Um, so that those are, these are classes, courses that are required at Cairn. So your, your, your Bible classes, your math reading, uh, labor arts classes are going to be held here. Um, so there's going to be um, some, probably, probably it's going to be the biggest your class you'll ever get. So again, 15 to 16 on average uh, class size, but this is one of the exception where you'll be uh, with other students. Um, so, you know, this kind of show, showcasing some of our, our art majors and uh, graphic design is a new program we just added with the uh, graphic design program. And also these are uh, great opportunities to add an elective uh, and uh, they provide a great way to, uh, if you have some space in your schedule, um, to, you know, explore something that's a little different. Also, there's chapel at Cairn University and that's once uh, twice a week actually is Monday and Friday and uh, you'll get a chance to hear from the president and, and another uh, divinity, a Bible staff uh, faculty that would uh, share with you um, a message from the scripture. I know on Wednesday, there's an option, uh, there's a chapel, um, I think it's optional, um, you know, kind of deal with um, uh, things that are going on in society. And so we talk about uh, those kind of things in, in Wednesday chapels. Um, but uh, this year, because of COVID, uh, obviously uh, chapel is normally required, but for this year it's optional because of COVID. Um, so these are the residence halls as you see, as you're gonna see in, the, in, in the, both of these pictures actually showcasing uh, our heritage uh, dormitories, which is the biggest dormitory on Karen campus. There's only two, so this heritage hall and this actually manor residence halls as well. So heritage is the biggest, the most popular one, the most lively one. Um, so if you become a student here, uh, hint, hint, uh, shoot for heritage. Um, and uh, so it's just a great environment. Uh, it's a really beautiful, beautiful place. So as I spoke to you earlier was the, was the Maslin Library, uh, it's been renovated. I think that picture is a little out of date. Uh, it looks very, very similar, uh, but it's been very, very well uh, renovated uh, with new shelves and all of that. And then the Highlands is pretty new to Karen as well. Uh, a lot of students hang out in there and just study in there. Um, it's a good place to just uh, study and get some coffee, uh, breakfast, sandwiches. Um, so it is 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 really nice. I spent a lot of time there. Um, we also have the Mason and KV Center. So here you will really you will find the, the we also refer to it as the Mac, but you will find the cafeteria, uh, fitness center, the the gym, uh, and then some fit uh, some athletics offices are down there. Uh, the campus store used to be there. It's not there anymore. It's in the Smith Administration Building. It's a bigger building on campus. This is the second biggest building on campus. But um, yes, if you're into work now and, and you play sports, you're probably going to get very familiar with this building on campus. Um, these are the list, of, the list of our sports. So both Ben's women's basketball, volleyball, soccer, men and women share both cross country golf. Um, this year, lacrosse is new. Uh, for the men's and then there's tennis for women's but it's also men's tennis actually this year as well so um, that's something to really look forward to um, and then you know these are just some quotes from uh, the women's volleyball and then uh, the men's tennis uh, like I mentioned so they talk I think 
uh, just uh, not reading everything there, but uh, to kind of highlight uh, what they're both saying there, it's just a sense of community. Um, I think something to drive is developing relationship with your peers and just kind of an iron sharpening iron, sharp, uh, sharpening iron. Um, it's kind of like uh, um, understanding where each other is at, not just, they're just not your teammate, but also someone that you will probably be friends with for the rest of your life. So you're building relationships uh, and they really did, did do a lot of things together um, that, that contributes to that, whether it be um, off campus activities, uh, some mission, um, uh, mission volunteer work around the, around the area. Uh, but it's really, really the, the sports, not just sports, it's really beyond sports. Um, and, you, and, that, and, and both coaches will attest to that. So uh, that's really all I have um, about Karen today. Um, so the biggest thing would be the app. Uh, if you can apply as soon as you can. We do have some open houses and, and, and we do have in-person uh, personal visits that you can schedule on our website. All you have to do is go to karen.edu slash visit, and then you can schedule a personal visit. Uh, you can meet with me. I'm one of the admissions counselors. Uh, you can meet with Stephanie Wentz, uh, another admissions counselor, um, and uh, she'll be more than happy to just speak more to you. You can even uh, meet with one of the deans in your program, uh, whatever major it is. Uh, there's, there's an option for that on our website. You can, you can just uh, cater that to exactly how you want your day to, to go. Uh, I'm not, this year there's not going to be an overnight option, but there's sometime there is. Um, but also there's virtual, uh, virtual visits as well. So it's a good example is this. Um, another example, uh, we have uh, open house, virtual open houses coming up. Uh, you can sign up the same way at Karen.ed slash visit. And we have an in-person open house that is coming up on November. Uh, I forget the exact date. I think it's November uh, 20th or 12th. Um, so that's our in-person uh, open house. I will strongly encourage you to do that. Um, you just get to meet a lot of the faculty and staff. Um, you get to sit in a, on a, in a class. Um, we had one recently and it went very, very well. And I would strongly encourage you to, to do that. Well, thanks for having me and having me talk to you and um, bearing with me through some of my technical difficulties here, trying to get this all, all set up. Um, and uh, that's really all I got. Yeah, feel free to, to reach out, reach out to me, reach out to Stephanie Wentz. Okay, uh, thank you so much for being here today and, and giving this information to our students from New Jersey. Uh, students, if you're here, please take the quick survey at the end, which will appear when you close the screen. Um, sign up for more sessions at njacac.org slash virtual fair and find recordings available from many universities and colleges. Thank you again for your time. Thank Karen for being here and have a great day. Thank you.